Welcome back to another video. A lot of people don't really like Daya. I don't know why. What? But after my own personal experience using the character, I've learned that it's not really a character problem. It's a personal problem. Daya is not that. You are. I'll, I'll show me dealing mad damage. It's, it's, give me a sec. Now, starting off, there's already something that Daya can do that literally no one else can possibly do. And that is make the bell useful. Who else do you see inside of the game actually making such a weapon useful? That weapon automatically went from D tier all the way to S tier because of one unit. I'll, I'll show my damage in a second another amazing thing that she can do that no one else can do is go afk inside of the game and still get kills i can go farm a weekly boss stand in one place and go to the store come back and it'll be done for me or maybe halfway done either way that's way better than me spamming clicks on my mouse you you mobile people won't understand that this character can quite literally never die just because of that amazing passive that she has speaking of talent people also complain about her multipliers have you ever thought just getting better artifacts or something like that i'm dealing i don't know how much damage just from some basic artifacts pretty much one shotting quite a bit of stuff i don't know what people's really doing wrong and i'm not using major buffs or anything like that too i'm just absolutely dominating the field you can't 36 star abyss unless the character is cracked here's proof of completing abyss with Dea. It Ignore that. Don't don't look at that part. Just look at Daya. If that don't tell you that she's good, I don't know what does. People also complain about the amount of bugs that she has and that this is an incomplete character. Listen, hear me out. This character does have a lot of bugs, which I'm not saying that she doesn't. The fact that she do, that makes the game like 10 times more fun. You can have the time of your life trying to discover as many bugs as you possibly can with one singular character trying to absolutely break this game. You have more things to do with this character alone in the past like three patches make that sick this character is also going to standard banner now you should be thanking the developers for this choice that means no more getting cucked by chi chi instead you will rejoice when you get daya because now you have something to do inside of the game and just like genshin twitter people that brings up race or gender into things that has nothing to do with it if you do not like daya you're racist design s tier damage We'll get back to that later. Speaking of damage, I'll show my damage in a second. Now, another main big issue is her ultimate just does not track very well. To that, I say you are half correct. If she doesn't want to lock onto the target and actually fight that enemy, probably because she senses danger. Why, why do you want to fight that? She doesn't want to fight that. She knows what's going to happen. You're going to take a lot of damage. Is she going to die anyway? No. But you're going to be angry that you just took that much damage anyway. The amazing part about all of this is if you press the jump button once, the ultimate just cancels. So instead of of you saying oh man i messed up i didn't want to press ultimate you don't have to switch characters you can just jump if you get frozen just wait for it to unfreeze or don't spam the jump button it's really not that hard now allow me to show you my amazing damage with daya alone <laughs> Have you ever had 22 inches of meat in your mouth? Shit, maybe.